Uh, my name is Mark Abkowitz. I'm a professor of civil and environmental engineering at Vanderbilt University. I also serve as the director of the Vanderbilt Center for Environmental Management Studies. Well, our session was on loss and damage estimation, and I think the entire topic is a challenge because it's the area that uh, is the, the, the bridge that gap uh, needs to be filled between communities that are in need of adaptation and the international donor community that needs to be convinced that adaptation and adaptation strategies um, are worthwhile given that they've been focusing predominantly on mitigation activities in the past. Uh, I think the most interesting question came from uh, a woman in the audience that asked whether or not uh, being able to make progress in loss and damage uh, as both a, a policy priority and a technical um, method uh, has the potential to be transformative in moving uh, climate change adaptation forward. Uh, in other words, is it a, a significant enough issue that if resolved properly um, enables the climate change adaptation process uh, to move much more uh, proactively into dealing with future situations. I think the area with the least agreement uh, was the way in which you measure loss and damage. I think it really depends a lot on um, the spectrum that you view loss and damage across uh, the extent to which you look at non-economic losses and also the extent to which you look at things on a temporal uh, scope, whether there are issues that um, really prevail more as loss and damage in the short run versus issues that become more apparent in the long run. I think the most important lessons learned from this session is that uh, this is a very important topic that I would call uh, critical and emerging, and yet we know um, very little uh, in terms of uh, the potential for knowledge and awareness in this topical area. I liken it in some respects to uh, a, a baby in diapers uh, that we know needs to grow up into a mature adult. We're really at the diaper stage, and I think people um, now understand that that's both a challenge and an opportunity. Uh, a challenge because there's so much to be learned and, and so many different ways that we need to articulate our views on the subject, but an opportunity because uh, we are going through a significant discovery stage on this topic, and once we reach a, a critical mass of understanding, um, then, then we can really leverage that knowledge.